let us start with today's class so yes maximum of you are telling me that there you have understood so i can proceed further without any worry that my students will be able to draw or solve the problem of any gear box till this step number 2c so with that assurance in my mind i should proceed further for step number 2d and what is that step number 2d is feasibility check now we have drawn this four diagrams out of this four which diagram or which option is the feasible option feasible option means which can be used so for that for that the condition is phi raised to n should be less than or equal to 8 so this is the condition which we have to check for a feasibility come to the diagram number 1 diagram number 1 mein ये दो जो पॉइंट है स्टेज वन में उनमें डिफरेंस कितना है मैक्सिमम डिफरेंस आई कैन से वन वन ओके सो लेट मी राइट इट हियर वन नाउ इन द सेकंड स्टेज व्हाट मैक्सिमम गैप यू कैन सी फोर में फोर सर फोर कैसे आया देखो ना फर्स्ट एंड दिस वन टू थ्री फोर करेक्ट करेक्ट देखो कैसे आया अब मैं बता दूं इसने कैसे सोचा है फ्रॉम दिस फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट वन रे इज गोइंग हियर यहां पर सेकेंड रेज गोइंग हियर थर्ड रेज गोइंग हियर तो मैक्सिमम डिफरेंस कितना हो गया दोनों के बीच का एक दो तीन चार सर ठीक है सो यहां पर टोटल मैक्सिमम डिफरेंस इज फोर सो इट विल बिकम नाउ फाइव रेज टू फोर एंड टेल मी द आंसर वॉट इज फाइव रेज टू फोर फाइव का आंसर क्या था आपका वन पॉइंट फोर फोर टू समथिंग फोर पॉइंट थ्री टू Yes, 4.32, correct. So 5 raised to 4, I am getting 4.32. So is it less than 8? Yes, sir. Yes. Less so I will write 5 raised to 4 is less than or equal to 8. Hence, this is the feasible. Yeah, but I will write hence feasible. That means we can use this. We can use this structural diagram for our further calculations. कभी कभी क्या होता है पंद्रह बीस structural diagram बनते हैं इतना तो तुम्हारे syllabus में नहीं है But normally we can make eight or nine, depending on the configuration given. So eight tau, maybe here, here, some reject ho jate. This ta abe kuch karna hi nahi. So that's why this step is important step. Okay. Now let us consider the second part in the similar way. Second wale me, what can you tell? What is the maximum gap in the first stage? Two. Two. Correct. देखो पहली रे जो है वो यहाँ जा रही है इधर यहाँ पर touch हो रही है और last रे जो है वो यहाँ पर touch हो रही है. So gap between them is two. In the first stage, the gap is two. What can you tell about the second stage? Three. Just see. यहाँ से पहली रे यहाँ touch कर रही है, last वाली रे यहाँ touch कर रही है. So maximum gap is how much? One, two, three. So यहाँ पर दो का gap, यहाँ पर तीन का gap. What is maximum? Three. So what I will write? Five raised to three. And what is that? Five raised to three coming out to be please tell. Two point nine nine. Okay, two point nine nine. I will take it as three. So again, you can see that it is less than eight. So I will write five raised to three is less than eight, hence feasible. So we can also take this for our for the consideration. Now similarly, we will go for the third one. Now tell me what should be five? I will tell you what should be five. It should be maximum of stage one and stage two. Three. Three. Can you explain? So first stage me three ka gap hai, or second stage me two ka gap hai. Correct. Maximum Correct. two. Perfect. That's the perfect explanation. If you see in the first stage, पहली रे यहाँ पर जा रही है, यहाँ ये touch कर रही है, दूसरी रे यहाँ पर touch कर रही है. That means the gap is one, two, three. So first stage gapping is three. And if you see the second stage, first stage is going here, and second ray or the last ray is going here. That means there is only two gap. So maximum gap is three. So I will write pi raised to three. So don't need to calculate because we have calculated earlier that pi raised to three will come three. And because it is less than or equal to eight, I will write it is what feasible. Now let us move forward for the last one. Now again, I want answers from your side. What will be the value of five? Four. 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 And one. Five raised to four was correct because you can see here in the first stage, one ray is going upside. So this and the last ray, the gap between them is one, two, three, and four. And if you see on the second stage, there is gap of only one. So that my uh, the maximum is four. So I will write five h to four again. That value is with us available. So four point three two. So I will write five h to four is less than or equal to eight. Hence, it is feasible. All the four structural diagram which we have made 
are feasible ones. That means they can be the options for our solution. इसमें से कोई भी रिजेक्ट नहीं हुआ मतलब चारों के चार आगे जा सकते सो डू यू हैव एनी डाउट इन फाइंडिंग आउट और डूइंग द फिजिबिलिटी चेक I am asking the questions at every step so that I am confirmed that my students will be doing the steps till they are proper. So no doubts. Okay. So again, that gave me the assurance, or that gave me yes, that gave me satisfaction that what I have thought till now is being understood by my students. Okay. So this is two C and two D. So the next step is step number two E, that is selecting the optimum structural diagram. अब हमारे पास चार डिफरेंट स्ट्रक्चरल डायग्राम्स है डायग्राम नंबर वन टू थ्री फोर एंड ऑल ऑफ देम आर फिजिबल आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग दैट दे आर ऑप्टिमम आई जस्ट टोल्ड ऑल द फोर कैन बी यूज्ड, बट आउट ऑफ दैट फोर विच इज द ऑप्टिमम वन विच दैट वी हैव टू नाउ सिलेक्ट सो अगेन आई विल मेक अ टेबल लाइक दिन सी दैट आई रिटर्न द स्ट्रक्चरल डायग्राम मेन डायग्राम नंबर वन डायग्राम नंबर टू डायग्राम नंबर थ्री एंड डायग्राम नंबर फोर आई विल मेक द डायग्राम हियर अगेन सो दैट आई विल बी Also comfortable in explaining you the things. Now, what does I mean, or what the value should come at this particular locations? So just observe in the diagram. Just observe in the diagram. The first ray which is coming out, or you can say the maximum number the which the ray is going to. So here it is only one. So I have written three point five. This is not stage. This is shaft number one. This is shaft number two. Sorry for that mistake. Shaft two, and this is shaft three. Now I think it will be easy. Shaft one pe, shaft one pe apne dekhe ki it will be three point five. Shaft number two pe, what is the maximum number of, uh, or what you can say, what is the maximum number of speed achieved? Kono si speed pe aagya? Four pe. Four. Dekho, second stage pe, second shaft pe do hi hai, three hai aur four hai. Hamko maximum wala dekhna hai. Maximum is four. Similarly, on the third shaft, what is the maximum? Six. Six. देखो आप देख रहे हो maximum छत्तीस speed तक भी touch कर रहा है third shaft. So here I will write six. And here is as it says you have to take the sum of these numbers. So six plus four is ten. Ten plus thirteen is thirteen point. Now let us go for the second one. And I think I should make it again because this I had made. Now tell me on shaft one for the structural diagram two on shaft one what is the maximum speed? Three point five. Three point five. Similarly, on shaft two, what is the maximum speed? Two point five. Two point five. Four four. Ha, four point five. Four point five. Four point five. Because it is between four and five, so I am writing four point five. Now, what is the maximum speed at the third stage? Six. Six. Okay. What is the total? Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Fourteen point zero. I will write for simplicity. Okay. Now let us go for the third diagram. Third diagram, can you tell me? You guys, tell me. What is the third diagram? What will be coming in one, two, and three? Three point five. Three point five because everyone is starting from the same point. So the last one I will write down six will remain. Five. 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 Shaft okay. two five. Shaft two five. Five. Is it good out? Or four is just five. Okay. 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 Uh, what will be 5.5 5.5 correct 5.5 so if i do the total the total for this will 14. be coming 14.5 and here it will be coming 15 15 okay so now the optimum the optimum from this all will be the one whose sum is less so what is the minimum one in this first structure diagram the first diagram first one So here I will write in my answer from the above structural like from the above the optimum structural diagram is two one and three two that is diagram number one. Any doubts? No sir. 